Well, today's getting off to a good start. I have been very kindly sent this by Tarion Official and they've asked me if I'd like to give it a little go and see how I get on with it. Now this particular type of microphone is known as a shotgun mic and it clips into the top of the camera, assuming you've got the right connector for it, which is a cold shoe and I do. Let's get into this box then. sound in case you're wondering is my coffee let's get into this thing then right what have we got ah now i think this is what you call a cradle it absorbs some of the shock waves that could come conducting through the body of the camera the mic itself Ooh. aha it takes battery oh, i have to see if i've got one that'll be a complication if i haven't Got an on off switch. Oh, that's kind of handy. I wonder what that one does. I'll have to look that up, won't I? Oh, something squishy. Something very squishy inside. It's little rings. I've got a feeling it's sponge. <laughs> I've got a funny thing about sponge. Here we have a sponge wind cover. Um, I don't know what those are. I'll find out because I'll have to read the instructions, obviously. What else have we got in the box? the lead to connect it up, presumably. I've never used a shotgun mic on a camera before. I've only used a wireless lavalier. Okay, so we've got two connecting wires. There's one there, and what is this one? So they're both mini jack to mini jack. So I don't know what the difference is. And we also have a carry case. Right, I am going to turn the camera off and have a little look at the instructions. Okay, we're on. I've got a little indication of the audio on my screen actually and I can see it's peaking so I know that I've got to go into the camera now and do something to it. Okay, so this is me using it just straight plugged into the camera without doing a mic test or anything. So the next thing I'm going to do is switch the camera back off, put a pair of wired headphones in and set my levels properly. <laughs> but this is how we're looking anyway so far one two one two this is me setting my levels i'm just doing a mic test right we're right in the middle looks like it's peaking so i'm going to go down but one two two i'm still peaking on the loud bits one two 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 car and i sound like a musician don't i apparently when you're mic checking you should use single words i've read this because apparently we're louder and have a louder attack on the first word of our sentence so you go cat, dog, yeah, I'm peeking every time, right, down we go. That's probably why we say two, because it's got a hard attack. Right, how are we sounding then? Right, I'm back in my front room. Now this is just the inbuilt mic, but it's still set on manual with exactly the same setting as the last one. So I'm gonna put it back to auto, which is what I normally use. Two, 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 right, okay. So this is my inbuilt mic, okay. And I'm gonna switch straight away back to the plugged in mic so we can hear the difference. Okay, the mic is plugged back in again. So there we are, that's the difference. I'm gonna get on with my day now. Well, I'm back. I've just been at my laptop trying the footage out and having a listen to that mic and I'm really pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I had it very much in my mind. I was gonna buy a shotgun mic similar to this one, but I thought I'm gonna wait till I can justify spending money on a, you know, an expensive brand like a Rode or something like that. But honestly, this is, it's about a 26 pounds mic. So I am honestly surprised at the quality so pleased about that and another thing that I particularly with my particular camera I've done it again I've wandered into the shadow excuse me now something that I am particularly excited about with my particular model of camera and style of vlogging because you know I turn the camera around quite a lot and I talk behind the camera about what I'm doing well normally unbeknownst to you I have to convert those clips to mono because what happens is on one side of, of the stereo mic I have a really strong signal and on the other side it's kind of all like that and it's all withered and rubbishy and I have to get rid of that one and basically duplicate the other one twice so you probably don't even notice but normally for the behind the camera talking it's in mono and all the rest is in stereo that was always only ever going to be my temporary fix until I could upgrade my audio gear so what I'm going to try now for the first time is I'm well I will try and talk with it facing this way but I don't think it's going to work based on the direction of the, the thing. Sound in focus. Yes, I think it is. I don't think it'll pick up. I mean, I'll try it, hang on. 
Uh, yes, excuse the messy table, right? This is with the mic just pointing straight forward. So I'm not expecting this to be very good. But what I'm going to do now, I'll just turn it off and then I'm going to switch it around the other way and then talk to you again. Okay, I'm facing the other way now with the mic, which is kind of weird. I'm not used to this at all. Anyway, now I'm here, I'm going to tell you what I'm actually doing. See this? Worst wrapped parcel in the universe. This is my old broken tripod that I need to take back now to a one of these courier drop-off places and it's just literally occurred to me I can unclip the mic and just turn it around because it's in this um it wasn't called a cradle they called it something else let me see what they called it a shock mount right I'm just going to do that <laughs> okay we're back around the other way yeah I just unclipped it and put it back around the other way in the shock mount and that was fine actually tell you what would be good a good innovation would be a just a swivel mechanism that would be the icing on the cake. I might see if I can get inventive with that one because you know I like to modify things to make them a bit more easy to use sometimes. But yeah, yeah. Oh yes, I'm warming nicely to this one. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go out now and I'm gonna take that to the place and I'm actually not gonna take this camera or this mic because I'm gonna take the GoPro if I film anything at all. But I'll see you shortly. Right, just doing this on my GoPro quickly to show you this setup. Now I've just put it on top of the light so I have a tissue on there, it just diffuses the light a bit. So that's my vlogging light. Sometimes I use that if it's looking too grainy and noisy on the image. Um, anyway, yeah, so this, these typically, these vlog lights, they do tend to have multiple cold shoe sort of slits in there so you can easily attach a mic. So yeah, that's really cool. Very happy with that. I'm gonna go out now and uh, see if I can get this dropped off. Oh, and just before I go, I figured out what these little doodars are for. Um, they are basically, I am guessing, to replace these elastics here on the shock thingy mount, shock mount cradle thing. And apparently you can just use these leads interchangeably, whatever's most convenient really. I've had to do a little wrap around, it's a little bit long, but you know, you might wanna not have it on the camera, I suppose you might want it somewhere else, might you want a little tripod or something, in which case a longer lead might be a bit of an advantage. Bit windy. <laughs> into the shop where the courier drop-off is. Now, you might be thinking, Imogen, there's no address label on that. Well, yes, there is that. Uh, but apparently I've just got to show them a QR code and they'll do the rest. Which seems really strange to me, but anyway, gonna give it a go now. I had to go all the way round. There were people there. Well, that, believe it or not, was really, really easy. There was just a little machine there. Actually, the guy behind the counter came out from behind the counter, went to the machine, he just did it for me. He just said, yo, love, scan your QR there. We did, and it just went, whoop. <laughs> and then it was done, and the label printed out, a sticky one, he stuck it on. And that was it, he gave me a little receipt, took my surname, that's it. So I'm off back now. But do you know what? I can't believe it, I went shopping yesterday, and I've run out of tea bags, and I didn't realize. This never happens, I never run out of tea bags and a bit short on squash as well. And also laundry detergent. I thought I had loads of it in a big bag in the under sink cupboard, but alas, it was dishwasher salt I just discovered when I used the last but one one and I was gonna to top them up. So I think I need to go to a corner shop because it's bank holiday Monday today. I don't know if the bigger shops will be open. We'll see. I'm back in B&M again. It's still open in spite of it being a bank holiday, but it's not four o'clock yet. I'm gonna go for these. £3.29 for how many tea bags? 120. In they go. There are these um, hand wipes over here. They remind me of Kendall mint cake. Whenever I see them, I think, mmm, Kendall mint cake. And it's totally not, but it's totally the same colour packaging. I love Kendall mint cake. Oh, I haven't had it for ages. I need some of this. Oh, yes, they have it. I literally ran out. What's the matter with me? I never run out of that sort of thing. We're nearly out of squash as well. So I'm just gonna get a little one of those because I don't have my trolley, I'm just carrying. And the other thing I need is laundry detergent. Ah, oh, here we are. Couldn't find it for ages. Right, that's it, let's go on. I'm finally back from my epic walk. I haven't quite done my 10,000 steps, but I'm not too far off. I've got the mic up on the higher position at the moment, by the way, so trying that out. Don't know if that's gonna have been a good idea or not. Anyway, I really fancy one of those dime bars that I got the other day. Mm -hmm. 
looking forward to that. It could do with it being twice the size. I've got a pretty pleasant thing to do now. I'm gonna sit down and research what there is to do in the area that me and Izzy and IB are gonna be staying in tomorrow. So after this vlog, just expect a little bit of a gap because I'm not intending to edit and upload while I'm away, but I'm only away for one night. But probably I'm going to film a lot and then I probably won't want to rush it through to get it up the next night. So there might be a gap with a day or two or something before the next vlogs, but uh, yeah, they'll be back after that. It's way later now. I'm cooking some tea for me and Izzy. We're going to have these. Ooh, smoked bassa fillets. They were reduced and they've been in the freezer. Look, 50p they were. So I should look forward to those. We're gonna have some just pasta with it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry the fish and then just sort of once the fish are done, serve them up on a plate and very quickly for like one minute, just chuck the pasta in with the oil and sort of stir it up because I think it'll be a bit tastier. And I'm just gonna simply boil some cauliflower with it as well. I've also been doing some laundry, as you can see. I thought I'd better get that up and drying before we left. But it's occurred to me, I'm gonna have to move this now before I start cooking that fish and get it far away from the fish. I've had a little look at the area we're gonna go to tomorrow and it looks really nice. So I'm excited for that. I've done a little bit of tipping shampoo into mini bottles and things like that, but that's as far as I've got with my packing. But we're off tomorrow. So yay, that's gonna be fun. But anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog now. And if you've enjoyed it, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story and especially our trip away tomorrow, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.